continue our, our line lesson with the turtle. Uh, just to review, we're going to go over um, just kind of everything that we went over last time. Always try your best. If you get frustrated, take a deep breath. Count to 10. Take a deep breath and try it again. Number three, everyone's art will be very different from each other's. Your art will be uniquely yours. And number four, art is not perfect. So keep these things in mind while you're working today. Our materials, today you need your big piece of construction paper, your white construction paper. You're gonna need your pencil, an eraser, a Sharpie, and if you at home either have a set of, um, what are these ones? Broad line or fine line uh, pens. Fine line work a little bit better. You can use more lines, but broad, uh, broad line is fine. Or if you happen to have like a container of Sharpies, that will work also. So those are the materials you need. If you don't have them, press pause, go get your materials and come on back. So just to review last time, we did our warm up where we did a lot of different lines. Here's mine, here's Zach's. A lot of different lines we practiced. And here is that example of a turtle. I'm gonna show you three more examples. This one is Sarah's from when she was in first grade. Put it all the way up. Okay, do you see how Sarah made her turtle super, super big? We're gonna try to go for big today, okay? So there's one example. Here is Sammy's. All those lines. And here is Joey's from when he was in first grade. He's now in sixth grade. Oh my goodness. So here's Joey's from first grade. All right, so go ahead and get your, eight, uh, your large construction piece of paper and you are going to have it face this direction. This is called landscape. This is called portrait. This is landscape, portrait, landscape. So you're gonna make it look like, uh, I think the other term is hot dog and hamburger. So I think this is hot dog and this is hamburger. I like portrait and landscape. This is landscape. So put yours landscape right down in front of you. I'm gonna show you Zach's workstation. Okay, he's all ready to go. All right, and I have a big easel right here, and I have my black Sharpie, and I'm gonna start, okay? So I have my big piece of paper. You may start, let's start with a pencil for this, and then we're gonna trace it with a Sharpie. We're gonna do the big, big turtle with a pencil, and then we're gonna trace it with a Sharpie. So, there you go. All right, so we're gonna start with the shell. The shell, is going to start kind of about, I would say a third up the paper, one third up the paper, so maybe your hand width up the paper, and you're going to do a big arch. A big arch, oh my, you know what? That's hard for you guys to see, I'm gonna use a thicker shot. I'm using a Sharpie, you guys can use a pencil. We're gonna trace over with black Sharpie when we're done with, um, with the whole turtle. This is just in case you feel like you wanna erase any part of it. Okay, so we have the big, big shell. Now I'm gonna do like a little bit of a scallop across for the, to connect the shell. Now watch me first. It almost looks like waves. Do it a little bit thicker for you to see, like waves. Oh. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the um, like the rim of the of the turtle. So come down here, a straight line down, and a straight line down, and then we're gonna connect it, the rim. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you Zach's work in progress. It's kind of hard because it's pencil. I don't know if they can see. Okay, we're gonna keep going. All right, next we're going to do the head of the turtle. So you can either choose to do your head over here or do your head over here, the right or the left. I'm gonna go ahead and do my head over here so I'm gonna peek my head out like this. He's gonna come up, come around like that. Then I'm gonna do the mouth. The mouth is gonna come in and out. And then I'm gonna give him a chin. And then I'm gonna bring the head down. Awesome, and now I'm gonna give him a tail. Turtles just have little tails. Okay. Now I'm gonna give them two feet, the front feet, right here and right here. So the shape I'm gonna use is a rectangle here, and a rectangle here. And now I'm gonna give them some claws, triangles. Yep, you can do that. Um, I'm doing triangles. Zach's saying he's going to make his look more a little um, uh, like half circles. So they're not. Oh, okay. That, that is an option. You could have, why don't I do this? Here are triangle little, little claws coming down. Or if you want, you can have them go like this. Half circles going up. How about that? You choose. You can do triangles going down or half circles going up. Why can turtles have their back legs? Mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna give him his back legs, okay? So his back legs are gonna be a little bit shorter. I'm gonna do another rectangle and I'm gonna connect. That's not really a rectangle, it's more of a square. I'm gonna connect that square to my, my uh, rectangle up front. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a square over here and connect it to my rectangle up front. And that's the back leg. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep these legs the same with the little claws pointing down. And then these ones, I'm gonna do the half circles going up. Okay, you pick which one you wanna do. Okay, and then the very last thing is I'm gonna, the turtles have a little underbelly. So I'm gonna give him a little underbelly. So it's gonna go like this. It's gonna, before you do it, watch me, okay? We're gonna go under, and I have to stop at the legs, and then I have to pick up my pen, or my pencil, watch. I'm gonna pick up my pencil and pretend like I, I'm gonna keep drawing. Now I'm at the edge of my, I'm at the end of my legs, I'm gonna keep drawing the underbelly, pick up my pen, and come up. And that's his little underbelly. Awesome. Okay, now the next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna make line segments inside our shell. So here, see how they did line segments? They did, this person did little squares. And Sarah wants you to see how she did little um, circles, like little half circles all around. Okay, so I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is, yes. Yep, you can start doing it. Zach's already getting started. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do what Zach's doing. He did one up here like this. And then do a couple more segments. See how I did three up here? See how I did three different segments up here? Okay, now I'm gonna do another 
line across. How about that? And I can do more segments like this. Like that. Like that. If you need to stop at any time, go ahead and stop and then press play when you're ready to continue. And I'm going to do one more swooping line across the turtle. And I'm going to keep doing my segments. I'm going to keep doing my segments all the way across. My segments need to be big enough so that I could do little line patterns inside each one. Okay? Good. I'm going to show Zach's. Again, it's in pencil, so I'm not sure how much you can really see of it quite yet. Maybe I'll show it at the very end after he does his black Sharpie. Okay. All right. And I'm going to finish doing my line segments all the way across. big, big chunks so that I have all these areas to do different patterns. And then I can even, can either leave this totally uh, unsegmented, so you could do a line pattern in here, leave all of these unsegmented, okay? And including the turtle's uh, head. Now what I'm gonna do is give the turtle an eye. I'm gonna give him a circle. Okay, you could do a little eyeball and some people like to do eyelashes if you want to give your turtle eyelashes go for it all right so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your black sharpie and you are going to trace the whole turtle after we're done tracing then we're gonna do the line patterns so go ahead and get your black sharpie and start tracing just the turtle not the, the patterns. If you've already started creating patterns, don't trace the patterns. Just do the, the, the turtle, the big turtle, okay? I'm gonna give you some time to trace. Take your time. This is not a race, take your time. Okay, and do the feet to Zach. Take your time. Okay, and do the scalloped part for the underbelly right there. Awesome, he's doing his waves. Zach on his segments. I'm going to show you, give you the, the image of the turtle. Okay, so go ahead and trace right here. Beautiful. Line segment right there. Good. Underneath this one. Line. Good. Beautiful. Okay, 
come down here and do another line, another thing all the way across and make some line segments in here. Beautiful. Doing our best. Okay, and then down here some segments. Make them big so that you can have space to do different patterns. Beautiful. All right, when you're done tracing, put the cap on your black Sharpie. So we put our cap right back on our black Sharpie. And you see here, Zach has a little bit of pencil that you can see. If you want to take the time now, you can and you can use your eraser and you can start erasing any of the pencil mark. <laughs> Zach just said, do it. He wants me to erase his pencil marks. So go ahead and take a little bit of time. If you want your parents to help you out, you can say, hey mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, Nino, Tia, auntie, uncle, can you help me out here? Can you help me erase some of my pencil lines? I, wanna, I want it to be nice and clean. And when you're erasing your lines, you might notice a line that you forgot to trace. And you might, oh, like that one right there. Awesome. So we're gonna just go ahead and erase any of our pencil lines. Beautiful. Hold on one second, oh, let me do this up here. Don't do those. Oh, I know, I, he says don't erase my, my shapes because he did some shapes to start it with. I know. You want to show them now, Zach? All right. So we just took a, uh, an eraser and we erased the, the lines that he did the black Sharpie over. And now it's time to do our line patterns inside. So this is when you want to grab some either, we're going to put our pencil down and we're going to just straight go to the colors. So if you have, hang on, can I show them the materials? If you have either fine line pens or you have broad line pens or you have colored Sharpies, go ahead and grab those. If you don't have any colors, then grab your black Sharpie and continue with your black Sharpie. So go ahead and grab a color, any color. I'm gonna go with red. another color, a different color. I'll go with purple this time. And I'm going to go to my next segment right here. Remember, you can do your own or you can follow along with me. Here I'm going to do, yes, beautiful, keep going. Here I'm going to do some uh, curvy lines up and down. Up and down. Remember, if you need to stop and take a break, you just hit pause, and then when you come back, you can hit play. Okay, I'm gonna grab another color. Zach's doing some shapes. Maybe I should do some shapes. Zach, give me a shape. What shape should I do? Diamond. Ooh, a diamond. Okay, I'll do some diamonds in here. doing orange right now. I was able to fit one, two, three, four, five, five diamonds. All right, how about I do a line pattern where I pick my pin up? So 
what if I do line dot, line dot, all the way across? I want that here. Lines and dots, yep. Lines and dots all the way across. Is everyone trying their best? Zach, are you trying your best? Mm -hmm. Good. Are you having fun, Zach? Mm -hmm. Good. This is a fun one. All the way across. It takes some time and it takes some brain power to think of all these different lines that you're going to use. If you need to, look at your warm up paper for ideas. All right, I did lines and dots all the way across. I'm going to bring the camera close so you can see. So that's one line segment. Here are the line segments up top that I've done. And I'm going to keep moving on. I'm going to go to my next line segment. Sarah's handing me colors. What, what's next, Sarah? Ooh, a green. Okay. How about I do some overlapping shapes? So that circle one that I did. I'm gonna just overlap circles all over the place. Beautiful, keep going Zach, you're doing great. I'm overlapping a lot, Sarah says. Yes. I'm just overlapping all over. Yeah. And is it perfect? <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. Is mine uniquely different than Zach's? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I did a bunch of circles overlapping each other. Zach's doing some shapes. Okay, so Sarah wants me to go hot pink. Okay, hot pink, I'm going to do some hearts, I think, then. Okay, this, I'm going to do a heart, and I'm going to actually go ahead, I'm going to fill in the heart, okay? Hey, that, that's what I was going to do. You're going to do some hearts and fill them in? Okay, so you could do some hearts and fill them in. I'm gonna fill in some hearts here. Is that you're doing it red? Zach's doing his red. Mine, you can do it for me. I'm doing some of them uh, big, some of them medium, and some of them large. Hmm. I'm gonna do a little one over here in the corner. Oh, Zach just said, hey, where's my practice paper? So he's looking Ooh. over here. Oh, yes. Okay. So Zach said, where's my practice paper? Oh, no. And now he's using his practice paper. If you want to, that's your phone. Which one? X's? Okay. You could do X's next. I've got to finish up my hearts. Right here. I'm going to do a pattern with these gray X's. Okay, Sarah, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a uh, big, small, big, small. So big, small, big, small, big, small. And then I'm going to switch it up on the line below it. I'm going to do small, big, small, big, small, I'm going to go all the way across doing my pattern. Big, small, big, small. 
And a small big. And then small big, small big. I'm gonna, bright, I'm gonna zoom in. Bright yellow. Bright yellow's next. I'm gonna zoom in. Here's my heart. Here's the squares. Here's the circles overlapping. Those are the last three that I did. Green. Green. Ooh, a dark green. Okay, we're gonna do dark green. Okay, you're good. Okay, I'll, I'm going to do dark green right here. This one, I'm just going to do some zigzags across. Ready? Up, down, up, down. They look like sharp teeth. Up, down, up, down. Just sharp teeth all the way across. Right. At this point, you might feel like you need to shake your hands out. If you need to shake them out, go for it. Shake. If you want to do some finger exercises to loosen up your muscles, you can do one finger up and this is what my teacher up does. and out. Oh, okay. Sarah's teacher does this. All right. So Sarah, you say it's the pointer, the middle, mm -hmm. wing. Pinky, pinky, ring. We do that in cursive. Middle, pointer. Okay, shake it out. She does that in cursive. Okay, I'm gonna show you Zach's progress. Okay. All right, very nice. Zach, are you having a good time? Mm. Okay, good. All right, let's keep going, guys. We're gonna finish up our turtles. I'm gonna do it. I think we're going to be able to see that. Okay, give me a give me a color we're going to be able to see. Yes, for this. Oh, how about gold? We're, we'll do gold next. Gold. All right. How about we do some swirly lines? Well, gold. Ready? I'll do it here. Doing some swirly lines. What other type of? Oh. I mean, okay. My next day should do stars. Stars? Okay. I'll do stars with purple. Okay. And just like my hearts that I filled in, I'm going to fill in my stars. So, I'll do some stars. How about here? And I can do um, different sizes. Should I go over that again? Okay, Sarah wants me to go over how to make a star again. So if I do, I'm gonna do a big one right here. A dot, and then a dot right next to it, and then a dot below it. Okay, a dot, a dot right next to it, a dot below it. I go down and up, so it looks like the letter V. And then I do a dot on either side of the V. And then I go to the left. I cross over to the right dot and then I connect it. That Am I is done? A upside down. And then I'm gonna fill it in. Mom, look. I'm gonna do a. Mom, um, look. It's shooting star. Oh, a shooting star. I'm gonna do that the other way. That I'm just gonna do it one way. I don't want to confuse. Okay. I'm gonna do another one. A couple more. Okay, now, connected to this lesson, if you need a couple more ideas, some more inspiration, this lesson 
as attached to it all these different examples, okay? Going next. All these different examples are going to be connected to the lesson. You can ask an adult to help you if you need to go and click on these images to see. Okay. These ones are especially helpful for ideas. Like on your practice paper. Just similar to your practice paper, yes. This one is especially helpful for ideas. This one, okay. Next one. All right, next color is gonna be blue, Sarah. We already did that. We're gonna do a dark blue? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, do. I think I'll do a letter. Mm -hmm. Tell me a letter to do. Um, a Z. Z. I'll do a bunch of Zs. I should I. Okay, I did a bunch of Z's over here. All right, I'm gonna give you a close up to see the next ones that I've done. So we had the heart and the X's, the swirls, the stars, the Z's, the zigzag up and down. We've seen all the other ones. I've, I've done a close up of the other ones. Next. All color right. Is going to be you guys are doing great. Remember, if you need to take a break and you need to pause, press pause and come back and press play. Great. And you know what? We're really going to try to use as many colors as possible. Doing our best. You have this one here, this one, this one. I know we want to do those. Zach says he doesn't want to do them all. Well, we might need to take a break then, which is totally fine if we do take a break. Oh, my God. Go on the camp I know. It's fine to take a break. All right. All right, Wait, I'm going to do, do yep, oh, yeah, I did that one. I'm going to do just some backward C's. Tiny C's. Uh, am I done? Okay, you have this one right here to do? One, yeah. two... Three. Yeah. Three more to go. You're doing great. Just keep doing your best. Always try your best. Shake your hands out. I know. This this is a lot of work. You guys are doing great. Shake out your hands, Zach, if you need to shake out your hands. Oh my gosh. Okay. You want to shake your hands out? Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you color it in? Nope, we're not coloring. We are just okay. doing line patterns. But you colored. I colored in the shape. We're not coloring in. Oh yeah, that's Let's do, fine. can we do, can we do colors that we can see? Yeah. More clearly? Wait, where is that color I got? Okay. That's one. I just did that one. Mm. Oh, um. All right. Two more to go. All right. Two more, oh, I know. Let's Try maybe. Yeah. Okay, I know. Okay. Okay. Mommy, do a little of these, but that one's your square. Okay, okay, so this is what I'll do. Sarah wants me to do this one. It's like a sun starburst. Oh boy. Come I'm on, trying to make it so you can see it. I'm trying to make it thick. More to go. Hey, looks like an ad goes in it. Okay, Mom, I'm done. Okay. Dang it. What? Dang it. What? I want to put that. Which one? That. This one? Yeah. Okay. Wait, could I just draw this? You still right have there? this one right here to do. Oh. Yeah. Right there. Snap. And then you got to do the bottom. <gasps> okay. Oh, snap. Okay. And, right. and the tail. Oh, snap. I'm going to do some <gasps> triangles. Golden. Oh, there's a golden Sharpie? Yeah. Cool. Next. Mom, am I 
done. Mom, look, am I done? Okay, now we're gonna do this one right here. One pattern right here. Which, what do you wanna do right there? I sure skin color. So let's I do know. a color. Let's do a color that you, that I think turns I know. up a little skin brighter. Color. What are you gonna do? Before you do it, tell me with your words. Hearts, heart, and then square. So a heart, square, heart, square pattern? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mommy, do um, oh, that. Do, you do that. Okay, I'm gonna do a brighter color. So that they can see it. I'll do I'll do black. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do, do this. I'm gonna do that. You can see it really. Well. Great. Oh, yeah. I like your pattern. That's a good pattern, Zach. Okay, I'm gonna finish off. I'm gonna do uh, the pattern that Zach is doing. He's doing um, heart and um, All right. he's doing different colors though. Why don't I get this even golden? How about I do this and this? I'm gonna okay, do I'm done. Zach's gonna take a break. Wait, should I? So, I'm gonna take a break. I'm done, right? Well, we're going to do, uh, we might do a little bit more. And we could tail. probably fit a little bit more of those hearts and squares. And, Mommy, you can do, like, sheets on your head. Yeah. Oh. So I'm well, gonna, you forgot this. Oh, I forgot that one. Okay, I'll come back to it. I'm doing the last pattern down here of Just square like. and heart. Square and heart, alternating colors. Square and heart. Square and heart all the way across. And I can pause the video if I... You can pause the video if you need a break. I do shapes and I do lines across. Okay, first let's get this guy up here. What should I do up there? Um, you should do... Wait, I've already done X. X. Yes, we've done X's. Should we do another letter? We've done then X's and Z's. Two, two squares. Squares. Tiny squares. Big squares. Tiny and big squares? Fill yeah, in. Like, like, like this. Okay, so we've done hearts, we've done um, stars, and we can do some squares filled in. That's okay. Oh, Sarah's saying, what if people, what if our friends are up here and they haven't done down here yet? That's okay. You can take your time. If you don't finish today, you can put it off to the side and keep working on it on, and on other days, okay? All right, now that we're done like with the lines. shell, the whole shell, do lines like I do. you can do, let's see. So, I'll give you some examples. So Sarah left the rest of her turtle totally blank, and then she did some lines on the neck. I'll show you Joey's. Joey did patterns on all the other places of his turtle. Okay? And then Sam is... He did some patterns on all the other places of his turtle as well. So I'm going to let you decide. You can leave your turtle like this. You can add more patterns to the legs and the underbelly, the tail and the neck. Okay, here's a completed one. Zach might come back and fill in a little bit more when he has a little more energy. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be collecting these at the next pickup to organize them for the art portfolio, okay? For my Esther Ruiz's class. All right. Well, I hope you guys had a very fun time doing this lesson. I'm going to just quickly go through each line, uh, each little area with you to show you the Squares, example. Squirrels, diamonds, leaves, wonder things. Like zigzags. Zigzags, circles, lines, and then circles, and then hearts, X's, swirls, stars, um, backward C's, and then Sunburst or starburst? Sunburst, uh, triangle, lines, cut. Crisscross? Um, Crisscross and then squares and then square heart all the way across and then I did lines. And then Sarah finished the lines on the neck. So remember, your art is going to be uniquely different. Everyone's is going to look different. We all tried our best and we had a good time, right? All right, Sarah, did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Zach, did you have a good time? Great. Awesome. Thanks okay. Give him a thumbs up. He's leaving. Oh. All right, that ends our art lesson for today. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye. Bye.